Hello, and welcome again. Uh, as I posted today about NetLab access and some other issues that you faced um, while accessing NetLab. Now, this explanation applied for those who did not log in before or um, logged in and have not found the content that they should have uh, working with. So if you go to accessing NetLab and you go to project 7, 10, and 12, you click over there, and I'm pretty sure that you saw this before. However, the IP address is not working. That's one of the information that we needed to change. But if you clicked on the URL, which is the netlab.sfcollege.edu, you'll be able to access NetLab. Now, if you did not log in before to NetLab, you should know exactly how this works. So, the username usually is how your email is being written. So, if your email is, or my email, for example, ahmed.alzadi at sfcollege.edu, so the username will be ahmed.alzadi. Now, for those students who have never accessed before, there's a default password. The default password is going to be your student ID with the hyphenation. So our student ID content of eight digits. So you have the first four dash the second four. So if your student ID, for example, is one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, it, your password, your default password, going to be 123-4321. And you have the example in front of you. Now, for those who logged in, you are going to use your normal username and normal password, okay? So let's go ahead and log in. And by the way, I'm going to log in with my username and password. And for this note, please, and there's one thing, what I see is much more than what you see, but I'm going to tell you what you are going to see. So if you decided to reserve a spot, you want to reserve a lab so you can do your project seven, you need to go here and say new lab reservation and click and say schedule lab for myself and click over there, over here, it will ask you for whether you are security plus or ethical hacking. Now, for those who had logged in before and they say, hey, we did not find lab 17, that's why, because you went to security plus and lab 17 located in ethical hacking. That's one of the misunderstanding we had when we started the project where we did not have ethical hacking. Now, if you click on ethical hacking, you will see the list of labs and you will find that lab 17 is available where it's say launching a buffer a buffer overflow click over there and you will find two spots let me talk about these two spots for a while number one when you are going to reserve it will give you around an hour it's 30 minutes you can go around an hour or 45 minutes it depends but most of the time it's going to be an hour. You can reserve for one hour. What the meaning of that? If you decided that you are going to do your, let me say today is Sunday the 28th and you decided to go today and do your lab and you went on, you may not find a spot that's available for that day. Reason why? We have two pods, one and two. There's two pods that has all the configuration needed. No more. This line means that the current time that you're in. And if you have a, a, like a blue box over here, it's grayish, that means someone did reserve the spot. If Taking this example, and each student taking one hour, reserving for one hour. Okay, let me see if I can reserve more time. 
yeah. Let me say I decided to have one hour and 20 minutes, for example. What's the meaning of that? That I will have only 24 reservation a day. We are more than 30, okay? Our class load more than 30. What's the meaning of that? That means we have two pods, 24 a day. That means we have maximum of 48 reservation if each student taking one hour, no more, no less. It's, it's, it's said to be one hour. That's why I'm, I'm talking about one hour. Now, let me say you reserve your spot, you logged in, you went to your lab, you started doing your lab, and you needed more time. There's a time extension if no one did reserve the spot behind you in the timing. So there's no overlap in timing. If someone did reserve that, you cannot extend, and now you need to start from the beginning. So let's reserve for 30 minutes or whatever you know time, 27 minutes, okay? I'll say, okay, I need to make sure what, when it's going to be the timing because if I put it six o'clock, I will have the timing for six o'clock, my reservation. So say I have this session has been scheduled. I will see this. I will click on enter lab. Give it time for the pod to initialize. The moment that the pod will initialize, you will be able to access your lab. Now over here is, is the content and the nice thing that where you can open it on a new window. Opening the instruction on a new window will give you the opportunity if you want to do the if you want to do um, two screens, or if you have two screens, you can do that, or you can press the Windows key and press one of the sides, then you will should select the other one, and you will have the opportunity to do the lab and read the instruction. How this worked, I pressed on the window key on the keyboard, the button for Windows, and I chose whether it's a right or left from the arrows I have on the keyboard. And now I have two screens where I can do them. Each of the status and each of the virtual machine available for you and you can see all the machine and where you can go and take the steps in terms of doing the labs and completing the attack, okay? That's a quick overview about the lab itself. Let me go ahead. So let's go and talk. Hey, I need more time. I will click on reservation. I will say, hey, request more time. If someone did reserve the spot behind you, the, the hour behind you, you will not be able to extend any timing. Whether it is, let me say, there's no one you can accept. Change exercise. Let me say you completed your exercise for lab 17 at 15 minutes and you still have another 10 minutes and say, hey, let me go to the another, another lab. You can click where it says change exercise. You'll go here, you'll select, for example, intrusion detection and you'll go and you'll say submit. And now the exercise has been switched for your reservation. I advise each and every one of you to do so if you completed early, you completed your work early, you decided to leave, you're done with the assignment, please end the reservation because if you close out the window, the reservation will remain until the end of your time. But if you end the reservation and you confirm, the reservation will be immediately ended and your spot will be available for other students to schedule. So let me say someone in in rush and they are they don't have any more time. They found only this 15 minutes available. They can reserve it and use it. Okay. Again, 
today I, 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 I talked with, with, um, with the responsible for NetLab and he was uh, helping me to understand what's going on. The problem was that ethical hacking was not added and the default password was not set up correctly for those who did not log in like before, never logged in. So again, this quick re recording, so it will tell exactly how you can schedule or you know schedule for your reservation and select your lab and do your homework for project seven. We have another days coming that I can explain for you, uh, Project 10, but for now, um, that's for lab or Project 7. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Let me stop recording.